as a consumer of physics from the outside, it seems like many people are worried that a really a, that, that physics as a discipline has been more or less moribund for a generation. That you, ha you have string theory that this is like the most celebrated thing in, in, or was the most celebrated thing at a certain point, but everyone was sort of just waiting around for it to deliver the goods, and it hasn't yet. And you have a whole generation of physicists that got absorbed by this, this what was a, a kind of intellectual fashion in, in theoretical physics, which may not have panned out and may never pan out. Now this is again, these are the echoes of yeah, 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 disgruntled sure. graduate students that, that one hears. Um, what, what's your view of, of the state of, of physics? Yeah, um, well, y you know, um, I think what you're describing is something that the press has picked up on in various times and it certainly has echoed in a, in a certain way throughout um, the, the public and throughout the press and so on. But um, the fact of the matter is that physics is in a, in a, theoretical physics is in a very healthy state in that there are a lot of great ideas and there's a lot of substantial progress. And when one says that a theory like string theory has not delivered the goods, mm -hmm. It feels odd for me to hear that. I understand where you're coming from, but it strikes me that it's coming from a place where you've not been within the field sufficiently deep to really see the progress that has been made. I mean, the theory on paper puts together gravity and quantum mechanics. The fundamental theoretical problem of 20th century physics in principle has the solution within string theory. Is it the right solution? We don't know, well, but, but that's but great then, progress. But then why is, it, why is it controversial? Why isn't everyone a, a string theorist if that, if that marriage has been consummated? Uh, they're just not good enough. <laughs> no, no, it's, um, <laughs> you know, it's, uh, no, no, get, no, a, no. get out on Twitter. No, no, we no, want to no, no, spread no, this no, around. No. <laughs> the, 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 answer, the answer to that question, and, and uh, please don't tweet, that was just a joke. Uh, but, uh, uh, the answer to that question is, that um, it's extraordinarily difficult to test any theory that puts gravity and quantum mechanics yeah. together. Right. Extraordinarily difficult because we don't have the technological feasibility to test the theory in the domains where it differentiates itself from conventional theories. And this is not just an issue that faces string theory. Any theory that puts gravity and quantum mechanics together is going to face this dilemma. So, if we were able to build an accelerator as big as the galaxy, then we'd be able to test these ideas. That's tough to do in this funding environment, yes, you know. Right. Uh, uh, so, so that's really the issue. The issue is that on paper, there are features of the theory that are enormously attractive, but we can't test them. Moreover, theorists like myself will also point out the theory itself has gone into some directions that raise questions, interesting questions. A theory that predicts other universes as a possible intrinsic quality of the theory, you got to take a step back and ask yourself, does that make logical sense? Is that a theory that we're willing to take seriously? And, you know, after studying these questions intently for a long period of time, my answer is that, yes, these are worthy of our attention, that these theories may be taking us into the right direction. Uh, do we know that they're right? No. The only thing that will ever establish that they're correct and end the controversy would be to make a prediction and we go out and measure it. And that is the gold standard, and that's something that we've not been able to achieve. Mm -hmm. The theory is in many ways in its early stages, even 30, 40 years later. These are difficult questions. So that's the answer, why it's controversial. It's not made a testable prediction. But the theory continues to make substantial progress on understanding the nature of space and time, the nature of black holes. The theory's been able to embrace effectively all of the discoveries of the past. All of them naturally fit within the structure of strength. You don't have to wipe out the past. It embraces the past. These qualities make the theory enormously attractive and compelling. Again, it's not yet been tested. So it hasn't made any prediction analogous to the kinds that Einstein's relativity made that were not a matter of, 
of having to build some yes. apparatus with insane energies, but just you know looking up at, at the, the bending of, of starlight. Has there been anything like that with string theory that has? Absolutely been not. No. And and that's I mean you know it's funny I that you bring that up. You know I had a high school student many years ago who did a science talent search project. You know, it was a competition in the United States where they calculated this woman calculated the corrections to the bending of starlight by the sun that come out of string theory. Mm. Like, so that's what Einstein did, and right. maybe string theory modifies the prediction. And, and you know, it, it was a thought experiment. I roughly knew what the answer would be, and the answer that she got from calculation turned out to be about the same. It was about one part in like 10 to the 90. Yeah, that's, that's hard. So, so yeah, so, you know, it's, a, it's, it's something that you're not going to be able to measure. It's too small.